All right, we're back at the range, continuing the grind on our journey back to becoming a scratch golfer. Today I'm gonna to take you through a little iron slash driver practice session. And if you want like structured practice, so you go to the range with a plan, I offer a six week downloadable practice plan in the description for five bucks. It gives you exactly what you need to do when you go to the range. Six weeks of practice, three times a week. So go check that out if you're interested, but we'll kind of get into a little session I'm working on. If you saw my past couple of videos, one of the course, it went okay uh, practice after and voila it seemed to be better but we just got to keep hammering it right we're going through a swing change so we're just gonna do a little bit loosening up here with a 52 degree starting at about 50 yards working our way back to 120 really for me it's just about figuring out this pause and really making sure I'm actually pausing because if I told someone to go pause at the top of their swing Guarantee it wouldn't be a full pause. So we're gonna go here, actually stop. Here, actually stop, and through. Just start feeling that a little bit. The other thing I do when I practice, if you notice, is I only take a couple balls out at a time. It limits you from just smacking balls over and over and over again. So we'll go here. All right, a little left try to sort that out that's the main culprit right now and the driver's a mess so hopefully we can figure that out today there we go all right let's grab a little let's go right into a six iron here and i'm gonna grab my line at six big proponent of them you can go to home depot and get these for like three bucks a piece or you can use clubs whatever you want Let's aim for something out there. It might be hard to see on camera, but we're gonna go towards a little 200 sign that's way out in the distance. But the big thing is you just make sure you have some sort of alignment, right? We're gonna hit a few irons here just to kind of make sure we're in check and this new swing change is cementing into our system. Let's just go right for it now. Make sure we're aligned, our shoulders are lined up. Seem to be a big thing. Right now what I'm working on is I go so straight across with a pull that instead of feeling this shoulder this way i need to feel this shoulder more down towards the ball like that and a little bit more balanced on my uh, feet there right at my target a little short but we'll take it Yeah, I didn't really run into this problem when I was out playing. I seem to be throwing my hands down at the ball a little bit. So what I mean is I get here and I'm just like tossing them out there. I gotta just leave them up top and just focus on this turn and that's what's gonna bring the, the club on through. There's the winner. Hitting no shots out of the course like that. Just feels so confident, so smooth what we're looking for yeah really close what I like about these misses is even if they're a little bit chunky they're straight right we're on the course they're all over the freaking course so keep these hands high I feel like I'm taking it only two-thirds of the way back out there come on through so I'm battling two things, right? One, the overswing, the backswing, and two, kind of yanking it across my body. So I feel like we're bringing it to right about here, and then this shoulder is staying straight along the line instead of coming so far over. That's what we're focusing on. There we go. Much better. Let's go into a four iron here. That's the main thing, it's just like, Keep on hammering it out, right? Make sure to, you go to the range with the plan. Here we go, four iron. I'm always checking that new grip that I'm working on. Square everything up. Feel these shoulders stay nice and straight. There we go. Real nice. I think I could feel even more of a pause. Like, I still feel like I'm rushing it a little bit and being a little jerky with it. Let's actually stay pause for like a second. I'm gonna say it out loud here. One. Really close. Still 
a little bit come across it. It's not too bad though. Because on the course, what I noticed that was come here and then it was so quick. We want something nice and smooth. Yeah, something like that. Really happy with that. All right, let's go on to the big dog here. Mr. Problematic. Now, it was a mess on the course, like extremely inconsistent, no confidence. So let's see what we can do here. Similar target, gonna aim right over there. So with the driver, what I'm trying to focus on is getting in a good setup position and just feeling, like I said with the irons, I came so far this way, I wanna feel more that, more tuck that right shoulder a little bit more underneath and less kind of on my heels. That should help correct that. Let's see what we got today. So if I did that on the course, I would have been thrilled. Right, it's not gonna go very far for me, but it was straight, really close. And the other thing too, I, I really overswing with the driver. So really feeling like I'm bringing it back to like here, that's the feeling. And that should be getting it in a good spot. Yeah, that's the one that is not good. Extremely slap cutty, no good. And if you're going through a swing change, what you'll notice is you know, you'll, you'll notice that you do like two out of the three things you're working on. One out of the two things you're working on. So just keep hammering it. It'll, it'll come through, don't worry. There, I was good on the way back in terms of the backswing, I think, but I just believe I kind of just swiped right across like that. So I want to feel a little bit more down the line with it. Okay, opposite way. I just get really quick with the driver as well. So if you find yourself doing that, just take a deep breath, take a second, slow down the tempo. Gotta figure this guy out here. There we go, that looks better. Square that face, okay, let's trust it. Better, closer rather. So fast. All right, we're gonna hit one here about 50% power because gosh darn, I just swing so hard for no reason. Really close. Better though, more effortless. It's a work in progress. Work in progress. Try to figure it out here. Let's get one more good one here. Come on. There we go. Probably still look like I full swung that, but it sure felt like I swung about 50%. So tempo, tempo, tempo. What do I say? We're working it out, right? That's all we can do. If you want some structured practice, like I said, go to the link in the description, download my uh, six week practice plan for just $5. You'll uh, have something to do every time you go to the range. So make sure you check that out. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, follow on the journey, grinding back to scratch. It sure is a grind, but we're getting better. See you guys out here real soon.